Video backgrounds are an awesome way to really make your website pop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add awesome video backgrounds with Elementor's background settings. And I'm also gonna show you a really cool workaround so that people can see your background videos with sound just like this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, from our dashboard, we'll go to Pages and click Add a New Page. And I'll be using this page as an example, so let's just call it Hello. And click Publish and Publish. Next, we'll click Edit with Elementor. So let's add a new section where we want to have the video background. So we'll click Plus and just choose one section. The first thing I like to do is setting the height of the section. So I go to Height and I set Minimum Height. And let's do about... 550 pixels, there you go. Now we can go to style, and here are different background options, like classic that is just a color or a picture, but we wanna do a video, so we're gonna choose here where it says video. And by default, we have the option to add a video link. So we can go to youtube.com and find a video, and here we have a really cool video from GoPro, so we can copy this URL and paste it in here. And we see the video is automatically in the background, and we can skip the first five seconds where the GoPro logo is. So here where it says start time, let's just put five seconds. That will automatically make the video start where the video actually starts. And we can even set an end time if you don't wanna play like the whole video, just like a specific section. So let's just set the end time to 30 seconds. So it just plays that part of the video. Here where it says play once, we can leave that off because I want the video to keep playing. And if you want the video to play on mobile, we can turn this on. That way the video will also work on mobile devices. Sometimes people might have a slow connection so we can set up a fallback image. Basically if the video can't load because you have a slow connection, it'll put an image instead. So we can just click here to choose an image and we can upload an image or choose one from our website and click insert. So if for any reason the video can't load, it'll show a picture instead. Next, we can add the content in here as well. So we can go back to Elementor here to all our uh, elements and we can drag and drop in content right here and while we're editing it it's going to show the picture background but that's okay it'll show the video once it's live and we can change the color here in style and the typography as well and let's just write hello and let's just add a button just to have stuff to show here and we'll just say start here And this can go to the contact page, for example. Okay, so let's click update to save our changes and click preview. We can click that of this tab right here. And we can see now we have a video background, but it doesn't have sound. And that's just because most of the time um, you might not want the video to play sound automatically. Like if somebody opens the website, like at school or at work, you might not need it to you might not want it to have sound, but what if you do want it to have sound? Well, by default, Elementor doesn't have that option, but I'm gonna show you a quick workaround to get a video to play with sound. All right, so let's go back to Elementor. If you need your video to play with sound, this is the way you're gonna do it. Let's add a, I'm gonna leave this one up here just so you guys can compare and contrast, but you would add a new section and you would choose the video element. So let's search for the video element. All right, there it is. Let's add in the video and let's plug in our YouTube link. You can also add a video from Vimeo, Dailymotion or self-hosted is from your own computer. So if you choose this one, you can actually choose a file from your computer. You can also use a file from your computer for this video. All you have to do is copy the link URL and put that instead of the YouTube URL. So let's just, uh, I'm just gonna use the YouTube video for one because that one has sound. So here's the YouTube video right there. Now the first thing that I like to do is remove this white border that it has by default. So we're gonna click right here on the section and here where it says column gap, we're gonna put no gap. That's gonna get rid of that border and bring everything to the edge. Now let's click on the video again and let's have it automatically play so that the video just starts kind of like our background would. Um, you want it to play on mobile as well. Uh, mute, we're gonna leave it as no, so that the video has sound. Um, you can have loop if you want the video to play over and over again with sound, but it might be a little bit of annoying if people are trying to like read your website or something. 
If it's just an intro video that they watch and then they, they go to the rest of the website, you might not want it to loop. So I'm gonna leave that off. All right, uh, modest branding. Let me turn this on. I think this removes some of the logos and stuff. Let me see. Uh, not that much, but that's okay, whatever. All right, so also let's skip that intro. So let's do five seconds here and 30 seconds here to skip the intro. Okay, so let's see how that looks. All right, so there we have our background video. Now we need to get content, like a title and stuff like this on top of this video element. How do we do that? So it's super easy. We're gonna add in another section here. And then here we're gonna add in all of our elements the same way we would. And then I'm gonna show you how to put it on top of the video. So let's add in a title here. And let's add in, maybe you wanna have um, a subheading right here. And maybe you wanna have a button. Now this is the thing, um, if your video is coming from YouTube, it's gonna have like the YouTube end results. So you might wanna consider using Vimeo or using your own uh, video, so keep that in mind. Uh, but once you get the video, you can get it to put in the background and this is how you put the stuff on top of it. So let's just say here, hello again. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it red just so that you guys can see it because if I make it white, um, you know, it's gonna blend into the background. So let's just make it red. Uh, here we go, red, and let's make it a little bit bigger. And then let's just write another subheading here. Uh, let's put welcome to my website, for example. And let's make this red as well. Maybe a different shade of red. Oh, there you go. And we have a button, and let's put contact me here. And we can link this to the contact page by adding the link here and selecting contact. Uh, all right, so let's say this is our content. Well, it's kind of ugly. Let me make this a different color. Let's do it black. Okay, cool. So let's say this is our content for our video. Um, I'm gonna go back to the video and I'm gonna turn the loop on just so that it doesn't stay stuck with this grid. Uh, if you're using a YouTube video, maybe turn the loop on um, so that it doesn't show that. All right, so the loop is on. Now we need to move this text on top of this video element. So the first thing we need to do is tell Elementor that this text is at a higher level, like it's more forward than this video that will be in the background. So to do that, let's click on this section. Let's go to advanced. And here where it says Z index, this is what tells Elementor what's on top and what's on the bottom, like which element is forward and which element is sent back. So we can set a value here, it can be any value you want, as long as the value we sent for this one is higher. So let's set a value of 98, for example. It can be any number, but I'm gonna choose 98. And then for this section here, we're gonna click right here, go to advanced, and for the Z index, we're gonna set it to 99. So that's pretty much letting Elementor know that this is higher up than this, and that this text should be above this um, video. So now we have to actually move the text up here. So to do that, we're gonna select this section and go to advance. And this video does have sound. Let me just click here. You can hear it. I'm just gonna turn it off for, you know, so that, so that um, it doesn't bother the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna go here to margin and we're gonna do negative margin at the top for this section. And as we add negative margin, it's gonna slide the section up. You see that? Um, so figure out the value. Let's type in 100, for example. That's too little. Maybe 300, that's a little bit better. Maybe 400. All right, that's pretty good. So 400 seems about right. And of course, you can still edit this. We can make the text a different color uh, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, you can still edit everything the way you normally would. I think you can also drag in elements while it's, once it's moved. Let me try, let's try and put in a, a menu, I mean a, a map here. Yeah, so you can even drag in more elements if you need to, so that's awesome. Let me just delete this. The only thing you have to keep in mind once you've done this is when you add a new section, you see now here you can't add a new section anymore. Let's click uh, Navigator, maybe I can do it here. Uh, no, so let's 
let's undo the margin. So you got to keep that in mind. You've slid up the whole page. So let's undo the margin real quick. And let's add a new section. Um, and I'm just going to add in an image here like that. That's fine. And let's put this back with the negative margin where it goes, which was 400, I think. Whoops. Negative margin. 400 to 400. Okay, there it is. Um, but now everything slid up. So you want to have you want to have another section under it to keep this like this. And then this section that is under it, you kind of have to adjust it so that it doesn't slide on top of the other. So I'm going to edit this section with the navigator because I need to be able to reach that element which I can't. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to right click and go into the navigator and I'm going to find the section which is this last one here. And I'm going to go to advanced and now here where it says margin, I need to add margin on top of here. Basically to push this back down so that it's visible. So maybe the same 400 probably, or maybe 200, uh, 100, 150 maybe, just a little more. Okay, 190. All right, so now you see now this is editable again and I can my, my stuff didn't get lost here. So now I have the video element here, the text on top of it, these are two overlaid elements, and um, by adding this this additional margin here, I can keep working on the rest of my website um, as I would. So I, let me just delete this picture here. I can drag in text and add a column and add in you know add in any other thing that I need to add uh, to the website as I normally would. I just have to add that extra margin. And the video is here. It works. It has sound. Um, and here is the other video. Let me update this and show you how it looks on the website. So let's come right here and refresh. It's going to refresh. So here is one video and here is the other video, but it is not full width. That's not good. Let's try to make it full width. Let's go back here and let's go here to the section options layout and let's do full width and update. And let's see if that made it full width and we're going to refresh. Okay, so here we have option one with the default video setting. And here we have option two with the video element and the text overlaid. And with this option, you can have the sound option. So if I hover over here, we can get the regular YouTube control so I can turn on the sound. So if you need your background to have sound, that's how you can do it. Please remember to like this video so more people can find it and to subscribe for more videos just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.